Hello guys, in today's video we would like to show you and explain the steps on how to anchor. Anchoring is one of those things, if you know how to do it and follow a couple of simple steps, it is actually a very easy maneuver. But it can be stressful if you are not sure what is the right way to do it. First thing is to choose a safe anchorage. So always check the weather forecast before you decide where to drop the anchor. You don't want to be exposed to waves and direct wind, it's always better to be secluded. When choosing the proper anchorage, always check if there is a good holding ground. Sand or mud are the best options to dig your anchor. Avoid rocky bottom or bottom full of seagrass. Next thing to check is the depth in the bay. We want the bay that is not too deep but also not too shallow. So we can let out the right amount of chain to just really feel comfortable and safe. Before dropping the anchor we have to make sure there is enough space to swing around our anchor and not hit any other boat or rocks. Now we can start dropping it down. The question is how much chain to drop out to be anchored safely. Use ratio between 3.1 and 4.1. So it means if you have 10 meter of depth use between 30 and 40 meters of chain and if you expect stronger wind then increase the ratio. Always check the depth on the position where you are starting to dropping the anchor. Tell your crew member who is responsible for dropping it to notice you which mark on the chain is going into the water. So if the depth is 10 meters, when you drop 10 meters of chain in the water, start to reverse your engine and continue dropping. With this you will immediately stretch the chain on the bottom. Don't use a lot of speed, you just want the boat to drift backwards to be able to stretch the chain. When you have the amount of chain in the water you wanted, connect the bridle line to the chain and reduce the force from anchor windlass. Now you can start to test if it's holding using the engine. Choose the point 90 degrees from where you are standing and see if the boat is moving or not. When you are anchored, if there is a possibility, take your snorkeling gear, go for a swim and check the anchor once again. So, this is how we do the anchoring, hopefully it was useful and see you next time.